Black History Month is about honoring and celebrating the accomplishments and contributions of African Americans to United States history. Uh, the idea was originally proposed by Carter G. Woodson back in the 1920s, um, and since 1976 it has been celebrated as an annual um, event that takes place during the month of February. Not only have African American athletes um, been pioneers in terms of achieving uh, spectacular athletic performances, sometimes their presence alone has been a, a sign of activism and resistance against a socio-cultural climate that was not very kind at best and dehumanizing at worst to them. So in celebrating them, we celebrate their courageous spirit, we celebrate their perseverance, um, and we are thankful to them for the trails that they blaze and the paths that they have opened up uh, for current athletes. We think about those like Jesse Owens and Jackie Robinson. We think about Althea Gibson um, and, and many others. So certainly we think about black history, but I also think it's really important for us to think about how that history shapes our present. And we can think about athletes who are still blazing trails today, who are still achieving spectacular athletic feats, but also continuing and elevating the conversation about the importance of acknowledging race, cultural identity, and honoring the, the unique experiences of black athletes. And so I think about Simone Manuel, I think about Simone Biles, um, and many other athletes who have achieved firsts in their, their fields and their sport. Uh, but also, again, just their presence alone kind of serves to, to highlight the fact that it, it's not in spite of their identity, but their identity is a part of who they are as an athlete. And so again, it's just really important to celebrate that. As sports psychology consultants and practitioners, I think it's important to recognize that any elite performance or helping anyone to try to achieve elite performance includes understanding, valuing, and respecting who they are as a cultural being. We think about black history and we think about the intersection with sport. I think it's important for us to pause and just acknowledge the courage and the fortitude and the perseverance, but also the pain that came with the reality that those athletes experienced. And even thinking more about our recent histories, certainly times have, have changed to some degree, but it's still important for us to think about the cultural landscape and to acknowledge and honor the cultural identities, the racial identity of those with whom we work in terms of the athletes and the communities that we serve. And so I would ask that you all join me in celebrating the, the tremendous spirit um, and as I've said before, courage, the tenacity of those pioneering athletes who paved the way. And for us to think about how we, in the present, can continue to create a world that's defined by inclusivity, that's defined by honoring racial identity and honoring our black athletes and, and considering and respecting the realities of their experience so that we can create a future in which sport truly is a place um, where people can thrive and excel and achieve um, spectacular accomplishments in the fullness of who they are.